torch matches. Can you see your feet in there? In the tunnel? Yeah. Yeah? I wash my shoes for this. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I got nervous. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, it's um, prize day to day again for tell him your name. Olivia. And tell him what you do. Um, I'm a psychology assistant. She's got £450 here if she can drive safely for 40 minutes, yeah? We can't tell you what she does, can't we not? No. Nope. No. No. Oh, I think she's a Russian spy, this one. <laughs> tell them where you're from. Uh, I'm Polish. Listen to Twang, she says she's Polish. That's not Polish, that's I English, suppose. isn't it? Oh yeah, but you know. She I'm claims Polish. to be Polish, I think. I don't want to believe her. <laughs> But um, if she drives safe for 40 minutes, she's going to win £450. Tell them about your driving history. Um, I had a test, my first test in Nottingham, about almost two years ago now. And she frightened the life out of the examiner, didn't you? Just a little bit. Just what did you feel bit. for? Um, I went off the roundabout too quickly. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. He could have been a bit scared, yeah. Yeah. Right, um, she's going to show you as Lena Sowards done. She's quietly confident this one, aren't you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, when I met her, she had a few lessons. Just her footwork was very aggressive. Everything was aggressive. It wasn't smooth, but she's, she's getting a lot better. Right, have any questions before we start? No. Right, well, I'm not going to tell you about the test because you've already had one already, yeah? So you just follow the road ahead at all times unless you're directed by signs and markers and ask you to turn which you want to do some good time. Do you understand that? Yes. Now one question before we start. Could you tell me how you check that powered steering's working before starting the journey? The steering's working. Please. How would you tell me? How would you check it? Tell me. And? Well, it's a bit more than that. Go on. Um, well, I'm turning it all the way. <laughs> And then seeing if your tyres move. I don't Are you know. sure? Right, the answer he's looking for is um, just say when I start the car, it comes light and responsive. Right, when I start the car, it becomes light and, resp and responsive. Right. Well, there's your first minor fault. Minor fault number one, Olivia. Uh, show me, tell me question. You could have learnt these before you got in the car. I told you to anyway. Do you mean? It says I don't want you to. Um, too many miners. Right, um, okay. Start your car mm -hmm. and then turn right up this car park and go at the end of that road and turn left. Now concentrate and show them how it's done. Have you got that? Yes. 450 quid. It'll pay off our overdraft, won't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it will. It would help. So it's looking to pay off our overdraft. Go on, yeah. straight your stuff, young lady. Show them how it's done. Yes, boss. Hey, Olivia's on, is on the job here. Yeah? <laughs> You can't make me laugh. <laughs> okay. And at the end of the road, turn left. At the end of this road, turn left. This is a start of independent drive. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I want you to drive to the end of that road and turn left. Okay. And then I want you to follow signs for Darling. Okay? Darlington. Drive to the end of the road, turn left, and you're going to be on that road for about a mile, mile and a half. Okay. And then follow the signs for Darling. Okay. I think it's about a mile. Yeah? I will change them, but I will tell you in plenty of time. It's going to last about 20 minutes. 
when you're ready. Fault number two, Olivia. You know when there's no street lighting, no repeat the signs, nothing but fields. You know the road is national speed limit, which is 60 miles per hour on single carriageway. Now you get up to about 33, 34, 35. Takes you a while to get up to 40 miles an hour. Had anybody overtook you because you were driving too slow, then I would have given you a serious fault. I was on my test, I would get straight up about 45, 50 miles an hour along here, probably about the 45 mark. When it's safe to do so, could you show me how you'd open and close your window? Minor fault number three, Olivia. Your mirrors. Well, there was no, the mirrors was very late, and there's no signal at all. Getting away with this because nobody was overtaking you, and it was like controlled. So as soon as you know where you're going, you check your mirrors and then look for the timing of the signal. Mine, fault number four, Olivia's signal is very late. It don't signal till you get on the roundabout. The roundabout turn left, it's not the same force. Okay. Serious fault number one for you, Olivia. Oh. oh, Olivia, you plunk. I don't know what you're doing here. This little trick has cost you £450, young lady. I don't know. 
And now you've, you've been asked to follow the signs for Spennymoor, which is right fourth exit. You're on a dual carriageway with no road markings. That means you have to take up the right lane and you take up the left lane. Now, you could have saved this. You either could have put your signal on and gone left or just gone straight ahead of the roundabout. But you can't be cutting across from the left lane onto the right lane on the roundabout. What a shame. It wasn't too bad up until now. Dear me, Olivia. Minor fault number five for the stall, uh, Olivia. Uh, yeah, it looked like you went to go into first, then you put it into second and just brought the clutch up with no gas on. Them's your old bad habits that come back to haunt you. It should have been rolling first, then rising, breaking gas clutch, young lady. Right, when you go around that bend to the left, there's some parking bays on the left hand side. Can you reverse into one of them for us, please? Mm -hmm. So just go around the bend and see some parking bays on the left. Mm -hmm. Minor fault number six, uh, Olivia, position almost stops you. Well over a drain's width away from this curb. Uh, I've had a pupil's feel for pulling up too far away from the curb, but it was more like a metre away from it. Should be plenty of spare when you get around the corner. Anyone you want on the left hand side. So we just get down, stop next to the one you want to do.
It'll do. See? Yeah. Yeah, I'll hold it up again. Yeah, I'm bringing it. Okay. Take the next road to the left into the car park. And then I'd just like you to turn left into here, turn left, and drive it forward into the beer. B. Any of this? Please, yeah. Right, how do you think you've done? I think I failed. What for? Um, there were. Oh, I've, only, I, I know, I know two. On. The first one was. You've only um, got one serious fault. One. One. Yes. Well, go on. Then, okay, so it's either between the fact that I started driving without defogging my win my back window first, so I couldn't actually see. Yeah. Because no. I was like, okay, shit, I can't see. Um. But then the one that I was just like, yeah, okay, he's gonna film me for that. What? I um turned right on a roundabout off a left lane. It was, that was there. Why did it was? Uh, yeah, Why did you yeah. do that? I don't know. What? I don't know. That's I, a learner's favourite scene. Yeah, I've got no excuse. How many exits? How many exits? Um, four. Yeah, four. What type of road is that? Did you encourage me? What made you do that for? I don't know. I don't know. If you picked that right lane, you would have passed. Shit. Exactly shit, digging me. It wasn't a bad drive, to be fair. Yeah. 